Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to day 10 of our Start Journaling Challenge. As you know, if I have pages facing each other, I like them to have a similar feel. And we recently moved into the farm leftovers. These leftovers are now beginning to wane and I don't want to print new stuff up. So I'm going to introduce other things that have been used to do a fairly simple page for today. We don't want the journal getting too bulky. We'll actually be writing on the page rather than doing a pocket or anything like that. Do use other inks apart from vintage photo, by the way. Next, I'm going to go through the scrap box to see what we have. I know we have a sunflower on that side, but links the flower idea. Oh, look, I have a sticker. I do have more sunflower cutaways. I have a frame. What we could do is, I don't know if these are going to fit though. Will those fit behind there? We could create a frame with a piece of paper in it that you could write on. That actually is quite an interesting effect. And you know that thing with frames where you have a piece of ribbon that runs behind them? What I might do is cut that off to create that kind of effect. We'll make this into the flag shape. So fold it slightly in half and from the open edge, cut it up at a diagonal. That would then go at the top and that would go at the bottom. We have a very quick writing space on here. Another one of a couple of these. See if we can get these to work as writing boxes. Cut both of these out, but I don't think the page is big enough to support a three. The rows won't go into the box. It will sit beneath it. If I did that, I'd I feel like I'd want to put something up here. Uh, I have a clock. That might be interesting. So I'll probably do some kind of cluster with a clock. Maybe a number just under the rows. That type of thing. As you may have realised from previous videos, I can never resist adding more. And I went with two small boxes so that they balance with the two boxes at the top there and I found a tiny piece of script to put under here as well. I have also found in the scrap box the stamp and I've also got a butterfly. There's too much of this stamp now so I'm going to get some ink stamps see what I can do about that. Am I happy with that overall look? Would I like to add that piece of material? I could stamp the material with the script. Like that. I could pop a bit of glue on that, but not glue it completely down, just the top bit. I found this paper clip that I think goes with the colourway. I don't necessarily want to use it as a paper clip. It might be fun to add it. When I stood up and looked at this, and often I think it is good to look at something from a distance, I wasn't overly keen on how much the wording stood out. So I've done a bit more stamping around the words that I've written in, plus got my brush with some of the same ink and toned down the white. Today's question, which I'm actually recording the day before because I know I'm out all day on the 10th. What does having faith mean to me? It means to have faith in myself, my abilities, my future, that I trust and have faith in me to create a life that I enjoy and feel content and at peace in. A nice short answer from me because I don't have spiritual faith. Those of you that do probably have a much longer answer to give. Thank you for joining in. 
Don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe if you are enjoying the series and I will see you next time.